and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some mono black discard. This is one of my favorite decks to play and Hawkeye's favorite because he decided to come join us, as you can see. Um, I'm not sure how well this deck's positioned right now because I think that one of the one of your matchups that you're going to struggle um, against more with this kind of deck is honestly against um, the like the John Sacrifice deck. Really, like there's. Um, they have a lot of good things to discard, especially well, especially Cauldron Familiar, them discarding that. And then they have Trail of Crumbs, which gets them a lot of card advantage back. So I'm not sure how well we're going to do in that matchup, but we're going to play our deck. We're going to we're going to see. I know we've beaten it before, uh, but just kind of theoretically, I, I think that would be kind of a tough matchup. Um, but aggro decks are usually kind of tough, but there, and there's not a whole lot of aggro running around right now. Um so that's okay. But basically, I guess if you haven't seen this deck before, we've played this a few times, of course, but it's been a couple of weeks. If you haven't seen this, basically what we're, what we're trying to do is just you know make our opponent discard all, all the cards in their hand. And it, it's not like our cards are doing anything like super powerful or, or like we have like this amazing, um, you know, awesome curve that, that you can try to, to dream about or anything like that. Our deck's really about making our opponent's deck a lot worse. We're trying to affect their hand. You know, by playing a Burglar Rat, this card's not very good. But what it does is it's basically like, if the opponent kept seven cards, it's basically like, hey, you mold a, si you mold a six now. Because you just got to get rid of one of your cards. So that that effect on its own, not that big of a deal. And you just get a 1-1. One, one, and a 1-1 one, one doesn't really matter. But it start, when you start adding them together, whenever you add a Burglar Rat... And like, you know, a Vicious Rumor, same thing. Not a very good card. It's just like one mana make you discard a card. But that's like, Vicious Rumor is like mold a six. And then you play a Burglar Rat. Now you mold a five. Now you play like a Davriel make you discard another one. Now you're like, okay, well, it's like I mold a four. And it's just kind of the combination of all these uh, makes the opponent's d uh, deck pretty, pretty poor. Um, and then we have like Midnight Reaper that allows us to redraw cards with these. And same with Ayara. Ayara and Midnight Reaper can kind of... Uh, team up and make these can uh, have those redraw but really the the all-star of our deck the the card that really um, makes our deck look really good and holds everything together and finishes out games fast and everything is wrinkle this is the star of the deck this is it's a lot better whenever we get to curve into wrinkle um, this is kind of like our our questing beast and gruel kind of thing um, because all all three modes are awesome you know, of course, the each player discards a card. That's probably pretty self-explanatory. Well, wow, that's good. The each player sacrifices it. Probably pretty self-explanatory too. We just sacrifice these burglar rats and your ox friend lurker while they sacrifice some other creature. That's probably a lot better. But then, honestly, the middle one is sneaky good in this. Each player loses a life and draws a card. The reason why is because we have all this. We have all this discard. But if if we make the opponent discard their hand, then they just draw their card for turn and play it each time. Then it's like, what are these discard cards doing? So having something like Wrinkle, where we both draw a card, and now our opponent that had zero cards in hand now has one card in hand, and then we use our Davriel or one of these things, and then make them discard that card that they just drew, and now it's really Wrinkle's hitting them, and I'm the one drawing a card, and they're not drawing a card, and it you know so it helps turn on these other things as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of just all the stuff about our deck. Playing four castles is pretty nice, being able to draw extra cards. Liliana, of course, can draw more cards and stuff to you. Uh, but let's see how this this does. Um, somebody had a question about the drill bits earlier. We really want drill bits against the slow decks, uh, like control decks and stuff, where you really want another discard effect and where spectacles easier to turn on. Um, very good against combo. But there's not too much combo in the format right now. <clears throat> like Jeskai Fires, I'm playing, like I'd be playing those against like Jeskai Fires, for example. So we're going to be playing four matches here, Mono Black Discard. See how it goes. So you've tried this deck with a few trolls instead of the Lilians to help refill the hand a turn quicker, and it's been pretty good. Could see that. Use use four black cavalier in the deck. Okay, I mean black cavalier is awesome. I could I could see that, it, it, especially if if the metagame is very creature heavy, and you know more like gruel and stuff like that. Certainly be good. Um, this is tough. This is tough because these are all good. I 
I think we want to keep Davriel and Murderous Rider. Which means that I guess I'm getting rid of Duress. <laughs> I should have just kept the first one. We were on the draw. Why didn't I keep that first one? We just draw draw our lands. <clears throat> you would have gone for the dump a land and, and prey strategy. That strategy looks like it would not be working out as well. What deck plays Sacred Foundry Fable Passage? Hydroid Crisis. I was gonna at the first two I was gonna say Jeskai. But then Hydroid Crisis. You gonna bounce my burglar at? No, why not? You out of time. Yeah, five color fires. The Niv Mizzet deck. I can see that. If we draw a land, we can go double rat. Yeah, drawing a land would be perfect. We just make them empty their hand. Wow, that's just perfect. Let me pick your brain for a minute. <laughs> They're all gone. Get rid of all that stuff. These Beanstalk Giants are awesome, though, because they're ramp spells that turn into... Like, these are basically cards in hand that we can't make them discard. So they are awesome. Like, that, was, that was a really good quality draw. Get him, Davriel. Get him. Good. Empty your mind. The mask is scary, but underneath I'm just a normal diabolist. Oh, I thought for some reason I had five mana. But after I played Davriel, I still had three more. Whoops. I probably should have just played Liliana. I don't know. This this is fine. Oh, did they scry to the top? I don't know if they did. Obviously, we're casting the Vicious Rumors. I just hope they scry to the top. Let's just, let's just play this. Let's just see what happens. As a fire zone invention, I doubt they just put a fire zone invention on top at this point. All I've Probably scratched at the bottom. Is pain. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, Elder Spell is. Yeah, Elder Spell could be a decent cyborg card if people just played more Planeswalkers. There's not very many of them around. So this seems like a good drill bit matchup. Deck that has like a few really powerful cards at the top end. Um, yeah, we take out Legion's End. That's the thing though, is... Don't know if I want to take out Murderous Rider. Could take out a Yara. Or a Duress. Maybe just replace Duress with drill bit. Hmm. Maybe we'll just play two drill bit. Usually, like a lot of times, like bringing the drill bits, we can cut. Like we usually like trim some murderous riders, 
This seems like a matchup that I probably want to keep the Murderous Riders in, though. Technically, all the things that we saw, all the creatures we saw are killed by, they're all green or white. Lilian is an option, also. I'd love to draw a, a two mana creature just to fill in this curve. Darn. It's okay, Sweet Leaf. You're you're doing great. You're great. Don't worry about it. Start attacking the hand. Let's Make it harder for them to hit land drops. Good, not Nifm is it. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. Um I just need more mana. I have so many good cards in hand. They all cost three plus. Rose. Beanstalk Giants have been awesome. Of course, I can have Rankle trade with Krasis, but i got to figure out a way to deal with this Giant. I would I would really like the rank the rankle to be able to make them sacrifice the giant. That'd be ideal.
You want me to do rankle sack? Like, what What am I doing with rankle sack? What Am, am I sacking the rankle? If I sack a Yara, I'm dead. Like, I'd have to just sack rankle. So it'd just be rankle trading with Krasis. That's all that would be. Alternatively, I could chump block the Beanstalk Giant and then sack the Rankle to a Yara to draw a card. But still... But at that point, I have two things I have to deal with. I think I'm going to try to snipe this card that they draw with Duress. This is obviously risky. But obviously, I, I need to draw. I kind of need to draw a little bit more to look for something for Beanstalk Giant. Well, that that works. That works very well. So I want to pay four life to draw a card. Probably. Loneliness can hurt. <laughs> yep, that's why our deck's called Mono Black Discard. That's what our deck does. Yeah, we have stuff to kill the opponent. All right, so Golos. Golos obviously is really, really difficult for us. Play less duress, more drill bit. They have they have just a bunch of creatures that are. They had a bunch of creatures that are huge problems. I don't think I want Noxious Grasp. Hey, what's up, Eisenaf? Thanks for the tier one sub. Alright, this could be a pretty good curve if we can hit our fourth land drop, get be able to get to Rankle. As I talked about before, Rankle is really the, the card that makes our deck a lot more powerful. This could have been duress. Or 
would have been able to play a turn one instead of instead of turn five. That's good. Get rid of the Tulsimer. I like it. Dang. Good hand, though. Grow Spiral into Beanstalk Giant. That's exactly what they want. I don't think you'll be needing that. Dang. Getting rid of Kenrith? Oh, the Temple of Tilt. And that's lethal. Ranko! This deck's sweet. It's fun to play. You think <laughs> it's probably so frustrating playing against this deck? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what our deck does. It makes our opponent's deck bad. That's all we do. <laughs> just try to run them out of cards. We're just trying to reduce resources on both sides so like we both just don't have resources. Hopefully we have a Rankle or a Davriel that finishes the game out, though. Yeah, we did a pretty good job of killing the opponent there. Killed him, what, I guess, turn six? Not bad. Playing against a thief. That's kind of like what our deck's doing. <laughs> this is my favorite deck to kill friends with because it ruins them. We've, I mean, we've we've done really well with this deck a lot, Great Dalo. If you. Check out like the YouTube vids, like this this deck does well. Temple of Milady. It wasn't really like a fluke. I don't know. It's... I never look if they scry top or bottom. <clears throat> I just hope they scry to the top. And we got rid of it. Oh yeah, we gotta get rid of that great hinge. Yeah, this is this is definitely a deck like where you need a good amount of wrinkles. Get out of here, Clover. All right, Edgewall Innkeepers are rough. There's a one mana card that draws a whole lot of cards. Um, and you know, like it, yeah, like it's just, it's a problem. They did scratch the top. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna need to board in some sweepers here, of course.
Yeah, our deck can do that. You know, like they discarded a land. You know, like we they discarded two lands. Yeah, I guess they they discarded two lands, and now they just only have two more lands. Um, <clears throat> people kind of overestimate their lands situation. Darn. That's a 5-5. Five five. That changes the race. That changes the race even more. Draw land. Yeah. We're down to three. I would like to draw land also. Good. Dang, that was a big card to make them discard with that Order of Midnight. All I've left you is pain. We're living on a prayer. That prayer was answered. Okay, so we're gonna need some Legion's Ends, exile those things. Disfigure, like that's why we got like disfigures, like they can kill these things very quickly. Uh, we could also go with the Cry of the Carnarium route. The Great Henge is also a really problematic card though too. Hmm. So that's the thing, it's like Disfigure, Noxious Grass, Cry, like those are all like, you know, good but we need to be able to achieve our game plan i mean i guess we could technically turn into a mono black control but their deck does a really good job beating control decks so i don't think that that's the plan that we necessarily want to enact i think i'm going to just not play cries and just have legions ends disfigures um, as far as noxious grasp goes maybe two and then so maybe i just don't have room for duress so that's going to come on out here, and then we probably need to trim some from up here. I don't know. That's still 64. Ugh, four more cards. Maybe they can't play Noxious Grasp. Those 5-5s five are pretty annoying, though, but I guess we have, you know, we do have the Riders.
Maybe I should just play Noxious Grasp instead of Disfigure. One Disfigure, two Grasp. Okay. That was a really good game. Hopefully we can sneak through another one. Yeah, new computer. I have Cry the Carnarium is for Cauldron Familiar. It's it's specifically for Cauldron Familiar because they can sacrifice it to Witch's Oven, but it still gets exiled. So it's it's really for that. Um, if we we're playing against a a go white aggro deck, we'll probably be bringing it in there too. They mult to five. That's probably not a good idea. I should just keep the seven. No matter what it is, just keep the seven. I mean, it's not like the game's not over, over. It's, I don't have. I don't really have ways to end the game right now very fast, you know, like not very fast like these things these things are gonna take a while to, to kill so you know like they they could I don't know draw a bunch of edge wall innkeepers in a row like four of them and I can kill like a couple of them but they draw some more and then draw other things draw some order of midnights bring stuff back I don't know games it's not over yet. But yeah, they're in a rough spot from one to five. They just got their two lands. I guess it is over. I was I was just planning on I was not going to activate. I was going to plan on either holding up the uh, murderous rider or activate castle there and lose some life. Yeah, the elder spell is probably over sideboarding, but I, don't know, I guess they saw Davriel. Yeah, it looks like the broken clocks right twice a day. Yay. You use this deck to do your dailies every time? Nice. Nice. Yeah, this is a fun one. <laughs> Not over yet. They get to hack MTGA and change the result. <laughs> Don't think they're doing that. Rawr, rawr, rawr. We'll go with the rat first. You do the troll knight, the troll knight's deck to do dailies. Nice. Blue white control. Let's get midnight reaper down and play for the deck with a lot of sweepers. I feel like they have another Dovin's Veto, right? And so, like, I I don't really want to play the Davriel. Alright, I'll draw eight. Thank you. 
And now we get to resolve Davriel. Huh. Not really getting... There we go. See, we're not really getting too many cheaper cards. The real thing is, do we want to... I think we make them discard and stuff first. No one has seen and then duress last. Like, they're probably still going to have a, a spell in hand, right? Make them do their two choosing effects. Like Davriel's line there, lonely loneliness can hurt because they only had one card in hand. Get it? Because if they have one or fewer. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Don't worry, I got this. Is this lethal? Yeah. Then Wrangle does four to them. So we can bring in the extra duress, all the drill bits. And then we cut the two Legion's ends. Probably cut some Murderous Riders. Looks good. Midnight Reaper, of course, was just really instrumental in that win. You know, drawing eight cards, obviously. Which is too much. Uh, this song is Gimme Twice by The Royal Concept. All right, let's let's fill some. Let's get something to fill in this. Um, fill in this curve. We'll lead off with this. Okay, Zach, sorry you're playing the Gruel deck. You're so close to Mythic. But yeah, yeah, with the band. Yep, things definitely have to change some with that with the band there. So you're playing four Elvish Visionary instead of Once Upon a Time. Okay, I I would I would personally I would add like another land or two to the deck. I think that there may not be enough lands with um without Once Upon a Time. Gadwick, draw a card. Yep. So I guess I'm discarding land. No, do not. Oh, that was close. 
that was close. Alright, discard a card, sacrifice. I think I just discard the land, even though I, I like hitting my land drops. Yeah, new computer is working really well, Kendis. Yeah, it's going great. Wrinkles kind of, you know, Wrinkles probably better to resolve. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. All right, I'm going to go with the double spelling. Okay, so if I if I did just try to go rankle kill Teferi, they did have the opt to tap it with the Gadwick. So I'm glad we went with this route. This might be a bad idea. Hmm. I hope they don't have another time wipe. They get to instant speed here with Teferi. Really hope they don't have a time wipe. All right, that's not as bad, but still. I think they got this game. This is a great combination to Fairy and Gadwick. No, I am not making this up as I go. Surprised they let me resolve. Like that's why I wanted to play Liliana first was because of that. I'm surprised they let me just resolve Liliana. Now I get to draw three cards. Um. I still have a a Gadwick though, so this is gonna be tough. But we're gonna try. Hey, what's up, Dread? Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, thank you so go. much for that support. I appreciate that. So that's sub number 25 on the day. Huh. 
Just a second. Okay. Um. So there's a little bit of a problem with the Orzhov Troll Knight's description. Didn't say for some reason. Alright. That should be fixed now. Alright, back to the chat. No, that, that's... Yeah, Blue Eye Control is... Yeah, they basically all play Gadwick and Finale of Revelation. Yep, that is correct. Yep, five more subs, and I'll be doing a 12-hour stream here soon. Um, so they bounce it to Fairy. Let's play this thing they know about. Yeah, I didn't draw four because one of the creatures that I sacrificed was a token, and Midnight Reaper does not trigger with tokens so i drew three so midnight reaper got one trigger and then the liliana got two triggers oh i should i should activate the liliana i should activate liliana okay good they didn't bounce liliana but i should because they they may have i should have done this this main phase this time well one there's only one option for me to do but like I said, they can't instant speed a Wrath. Rise. They could have, alternatively, they could have just had Brazen Borrower bounce Liliana and then play it to block Rankle. Which I can't play instance, of course, because the Teferi. And then in that case, I would have had the Liliana in my hand. I would not have had the 2-2. And they could have, like, countered it as it came back down. Alright, draw another 5. And that's why Liliana's good. You. Got an absorb over there. They sure do. So I have five, six, seven mana. We'll make them discard, exile. That worked out perfectly. Yeah, we've hit two sub goals so far, Subi Sacks. We've hit two sub goals that, that got us to sub goal number 18 and number 19. And so we're one sub goal away from the 12 hour stream now. Um, yeah, yeah, we out, out, yeah, we've outdrawn the blue eye control deck that's cast, what, three Gadwicks and a finale of Revelation? Yeah, they've cast three Gadwicks and a finale of Revelation. And we have drawn more cards. All right, we'll be activating the castle here. All right, three and zero. Oh. Mono black discard. 
<laughs> yeah, that's all it does is discard. Yeah, Liliana. Liliana and Midnight Reaper were both very clutch in that matchup for us, for sure. There you know, it's a fun deck to play. It's just... But y'all are probably right. It's probably a frustrating deck to play against. See, like, just a Vicious Rumor, like, that's not that great of a card. But see, they start with seven cards, and you're just like, all right, well, now you're going to mold to six. You know, obviously, we... It's like we both mold to six, basically. That's what we're doing. We're just pl spending one mana, so we both mold to six. Ooh, this is the tough matchup. I wanted... To, I wanted to... I was wondering how we were going to do against this, this sacrifice deck. This is the this is a matchup that I said that could be difficult for us. You know, just kind of in theory about playing. I I know I I know the last time that we played this, we we did beat this deck, but I know that my opponent didn't draw very well or or like mulligan a good amount or something like that. Ooh, there goes an oven. I should reprint him to Turok. <laughs> no, there's no Mind Rot in the deck, no. <laughs> yeah, him to Turok is a sweet card. This thing's brutal. Y'all think these cards are brutal. Him to Turok, now that is brutal. You're like, you don't you don't think you'd want to play against these. Yeah, you just, you ever keep a two lander, you get him to Turok, you discard both your lands. Darn. So, of course, we wanted to draw a land here, so I could have, like, drawing a land, I would have been able to rankle, attack, hit them. We both sacrifice. I sacrifice the burglar out. Like, drawing a land would have been really clutch. So, this is a... <clears throat> this is really rough that we didn't draw the land, because now they have Murderous Rider available to... Well, I guess they'll use Murderous Rider to kill Davriel. Probably. And then hopefully we draw land for Wrinkle. I mean, this is an instant that destroys target creature or planeswalker, but we can't take it with duress. Oh yeah, mind twist. Yeah, if you want to talk real brutal, mind twist. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that uh Rakdos Knights is pretty good, yeah. Um I do I do think that yeah, going green because innkeeper just gives you so much card draw. I do think I like I do like green more, but I think that uh, you know, playing for Embercleave, Embercleave is really well positioned against Cauldron Familiar, but people are ready for him with like Brontodons and stuff. Um, this Jun Sacrifice looks to be the number one deck right now. That's the deck that we're playing against the most, at least today. You're short two wrinkles for this deck. What could you replace them with? Maybe. Uh, that's tough, because, you know, so it's going to be a downgrade. I'm just gonna let you know because Wrinkle is really the the powerful card in the deck. But I guess I would probably say, um, if you have the Black Cavalier, Cavalier of Night, you know, they kind of do different things. But there's there's just nothing that does what Wrinkle does. Yeah, that's what y'all are saying. Black Cavalier, Dread Pre yeah, Dread Presence is another option. You can go Dread Presence. Yeah, that's a good one too. That's a good one too. Like if you don't have the mythic wild cards. 
You know I'm Cavalier. Ugh. We just can't get this fourth... We can't draw this fourth land. What deck can beat John Sacrifice? I think, I mean, I think Four Color Gates is very well positioned against John Sacrifice. Um, yeah, like, I think that's a good matchup. So now Rankle Sack. <clears throat> is not that good because they obviously they could just sacrifice Cauldron Familiar. And then bring it back with the food. Where are they at? They're at 12. Let's do it anyway. Because if they bring it back with the food, they're at least not gaining three life. They're only gaining one life for the Cauldron Familiar coming back. Okay. So they're putting a the card in their hands. So they have two options. To discard. Yeah, Leyline of the Void could this this deck could definitely play Leyline of the Void in the sideboard. That's a pretty good option there. This deck really could. I I have um, Cry the Carnarium for this for these, but yeah, honestly, this could play Leyline of the Void. Uh, you get six booster packs from sealed, six fifteen card booster packs. All right, I guess I shouldn't have done the Sacrifice a Creature. Yeah, I should not have done Sacrifice a Creature. I should not have done sacrifice creature. That was bad. If if we go ley line, we probably want to go like four ley lines, like at least three or four ley lines. Probably just more than two. But this deck is pretty pop. I could definitely see playing ley line against this deck, our opponent's deck, because yeah, they're they're playing the midnight reapers and everything too.
That's true. That's true. These decks just have like these thrashing brontodons that would just be able to destroy Leyline of the Voids, though. It's kind of the problem with Leyline of the Void. Pretty easy to destroy. This Gilded Goose being a food generator is just. Just dominated here. Which, yeah. I guess this attack puts me, what, down to one? So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But then this this is the eleventh, so this actually just kills me. Hmm, well, we better draw removal. I guess I didn't really count that out. That's not removal. So that's lethal. Yeah, and they can sack Brontodon for another one. All right, so I definitely made the mistake. I mean, I made one big mistake there with the sacrifice and sacrificing the Midnight Reaper. That was a big mistake because I need I need the Midnight Reaper and the Yara to double block a Brontodon. Um, we need more Legion's Ends, and we need some Cries. I kind of need like Brontodon's a problem. Ugh. That goose, that goose cooked us there for sure. Hmm. I mean, I could try moving away from Liliana. I like the one mana spells, even though we missed on a duress there. Could be a Yara, Davriel. I'm going to cut one Liliana, and with cutting a Liliana, I'm going to cut a land. And then a couple of Davriels. Even though that, that one, we did get stuck on the three lands and could never hit the fourth land drop for the Rankle for a while. Hopefully, this time we do get to. So Fenlurker is a lot better than Burglar Rat because, you know, if they want to discard, Cauldron Familiar gets exiled. So Fenlurker is really nice how it exiles. Duress, 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 duress. Darn.
Yeah, as we saw there, that game, Cauldron Familiar made my rank a lot worse than it normally is also with the sacrifice. New computer is perfect. Yeah, it's work. It's working great. So yeah, real excited about it. Uh, the previous song was While Oceana Sleeps by Sparta. Good chance, you know, they have the swift end. We got the backup rankle, that's why I didn't mind doing that. I didn't mind throwing that into a swift end. I'm sorry, Vance. Man, Beanstalk Giant's a popular one today. Speaking of a popular one, Legion's End. They are down to 10. They've had s some shock lands over here. Do a little damage. Lose a little life. So it's the same thing. Yep, j -Paz, Yeah, every, every Jund sacrifice deck that we played today, we played against it like four, five times or so. And yeah, they've all just... They're all playing the, the winning list with the Beanstalk Giants. Hmm. Do I want to say that we discard a card? Do I want to discard a, a Legion's End for a random card? Legion's End is pretty good. Sure, we might as well. Ooh, that was good. All right, I'll take that. Oh, sorry. I, yeah, managers, I, I missed yours. So, uh, if if your LGS has a lot of people bringing creature heavy decks, do you think you should bring aggro, Rakdos Knights, or more mid range green black adventures? Um, probably green black adventures, where you have the where you just play like a, a longer game. You have the Foul Meyer Knights. That you know play good defense and the the love struck beasts are just awesome at defense also, and then you have um, like the great henge that takes over. Yeah, like that that deck's 
yeah, I would go with that deck. I think that deck's pretty good against against creatures. It's hard to it's hard to get through the questing beast and everything. That's unfortunate. I play Davriel, it does two damage to them. They just Masker Girl, kill Davriel. Um, they have these food to gain the life back. That Masker Girl was clutch, killing my wrinkle. Otherwise, I just play Fenlurker and it just doesn't do anything. Um, I don't know. I, I guess you could, you could probably build a deck with a uh, commander deck with Massacre Girl to just be an, a board wipe. If you do that, you probably, the thing is, is, you know, there's only, only gets minus one, minus one. So you probably need to play like one, one tokens. Like you probably want like one, one tokens or oh, one tokens, like breeding pit tokens or something, something that can help just make make Masker Girl start destroying more things or like, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> Bleh, stop drawing lands. I boarded out a land. We only got 22 in here now. I don't need my seventh land. There's only 22 in the deck. Seventh land out of 17 cards. And they're at five out of 17 cards. But, I mean, obviously, it's these Legion's Ends are dead. Like, that, that Massacre Girl is just a killer. Yeah, we need to top deck another wrinkle. That'd be good. All right, we'll take that. That's not so bad. To the bone. That does mean that I do not, I'm not able to make a Fen Lurker just a 3-3 three, three on its own to be able to, to just block a Murderous Rider, but we can double block Murderous Rider with two Fen Lurkers. Nine. They were down to one just a little bit ago. Just a little bit ago.
<laughs> oh, thanks, Axer. So doing this during their upkeep, so they use the Witch's Oven now. So they don't use it during my turn, so it's tapped. Oh gosh, they get two foods for that? That was a necessary clause in, in this card. Okay, and now our Legion's End gets to exile that. That's cool. I don't know, they got a lot of life left over there. So we'll do that we both draw. They have less than 12 minutes remaining. I'm 21. I only have four life. Well, that's not very much life for my castles. That Masker Girl was devastating. <laughs> Come on. 12 lands out of 22? Ugh. Stop. I didn't, I didn't have us both draw a card there because uh, I didn't have another way to make them discard their, that extra card. No, not my wrinkle. Need another wrinkle now. Huh. They're just gaining the three life. They didn't sacrifice it to Wicked Wolf. That might have been a misclick. Oh, yeah. Forgot to have those. <laughs> Down to one. Oh no. This doesn't look good. Masker girls did me in. All right, so a good showing. You know, like those those are still some good games there. I I feel like I didn't sideboard 
correctly. Like how we're just like sitting there with like all the lands and everything. I feel I feel bad for taking out the Liliana. I I really wish I would have had Liliana, basically. Especially after Cyborg seeing like the Masker Girls and everything. The next time I play that, I would keep in Liliana. Um Maybe trim a Midnight Reaper, or maybe not have all four Legions end and Cry of the Carnarium. Another thing to like maybe think of is, of course, like as we we're talking about the Leyline of the Voids, you know, like going that route in this sideboard. It'd probably be take out like one Disfigure and two Cries and just play Leyline of the Voids, like three Leyline of the Void. Or may maybe take out a Legion's end also. Like basically take out like the two Cries and then some form of Disfigure and Legion's end and just play Leylines. That could definitely be an option too. So yeah, if y'all if y'all are playing on YouTube, let me know what you think of Leyline of the Void. If you play this deck, um, you know, leave the comments over there. But yeah, I, I think I should not have boarded out Liliana because as we saw, like I I would have desperately loved drawing a Liliana basically that whole game. Um, so that's something to think about there. I'm I'm not playing Spyglass whatsoever. No, not gonna play that card. Um, but I could see playing Lily, the Leyline of the Void because of Midnight Reaper also. Uh, I don't think our I don't think our mana base necessarily supports Blast Zones because Blast Zone would make Castle come into play untapped. Then we're we're trying to play Urox Fen Lurker, which we need double black. So if you if we keep a two lander with a Blast Zone, we lose. I'm taking out Blast Zone immediately, um, and then also of course a Yara with it. It's I. I don't think I'd want Blast Zones. I don't think I'd want that. Really want those Swamps. Swamps are valuable. Um, I would say instead of... Uh, Hightower is pretty expensive. Yeah, so for a wild card issue, instead of Rankle, I would recommend Dread Presence and Cavalier of Night. Don't have those... Maybe Doom Whisperer, because Doom Whisperer can just end games pretty fast and also surveil you to other cards that you need. So maybe Doom Whisperer. Like, those are three cards that, yeah, with Wild Card Issue for Wrinkle, I could kind of recommend. Uh, obviously, Wrinkle's going to be a lot, or going to be better than those, but that's something else you could do there. Okay. So uh, that's it with Mono Black Discard. Um, all right, fun stream day today. Getting back into it. We'll have some new decks for tomorrow. Uh, kind of played some old favorites there. And sorry, there's a little bit of a microphone issue. I'll try to work on that tomorrow as well. But we're back at it. We're back to, to streaming each and every day now. Um, yeah, with, with new and improved computer, it looks great on my end. I hope it looks better on, on y'all's end as well. Um, but as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit that. If those y'all on YouTube hit that like button over there. And of course, leave the comments. Um, the wait was perfectly worth it. Good, good. Yeah. Arena was smooth all day. Yeah. No lag issues whatsoever on my end. Um, and yeah, so I'm glad it, on, on y'all's end, it's, it's a better definition. I'm going to look at even trying to make it better with raising the bit rate and the FPS also. So maybe tomorrow it might even look better tomorrow. Good, not even a single burp. That is awesome. Perfect. Okay, uh, that's Model Black Discard, though. Y'all on YouTube, you know what to do. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, comments, all that kind of stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you for the next video.